Hi everyone, this is Jack, and this is going to be a video that it's going to be tough to make. I'm just going to be as honest as possible. I wanted to talk a little bit about, I guess, the history of this channel, what's coming next, and kind of the reason that something's been happening over the past couple of days because, I mean, it's going to be different than what it has been in the past. Um, I'm will, I, I, so basically, um, I'm just going to be as honest and as upfront as possible. I began making these videos when I was in high school. Um, it was something that I love talking about movies. Um, I didn't really have friends who shared that same passion, that same love for movies. Uh, I started off making a website um, and writing about movies. I didn't really get the traction that I wanted over there. So instead, I moved to the internet and or moved over to YouTube and found the success that you see here today. 100,000, 101,600 and something. It's insane. It really is. Um, it's one of those things where I, I kind of, when I made the channel, I always kind of hoped that I'd get to whatever I kind of had that idea of, all right, I'm going to make the channel work for a little bit. Then a couple months later, I'll have a million subscribers. And of course, that's not how it works. But um, yeah, I, I had success talking about movies on just it kind of took off. The, uh, went up from doing movie reviews of like the most recent theatrical releases to talking about movies that I really loved and cared about and had something to say. So that's kind of the history of it and how... Um, and it was just one of those things where I made a video and then I made another one and then I just kept on doing it. Some had some success and then, um, yeah, just kept on going. And um, I was just looking back. There was a 54-week stretch between February 2016 and March 2017. 54 weeks where I did 54 film dissections, one a week. And when you compare that to today, um, it's safe to say that I do not have that same 100% success rate of a new video every week and kind of wanted to talk about that. So, um, yeah, basically I, I guess I'll just cut to what the real point of this video, which is to say the film dice, I don't want to say it's coming to an end, but it's coming to a halt. I, I don't think, I don't, I don't think that there's going to be, um, a lot more film dissections coming from me. I might be making other content. I would still like to talk about movies and still like to use this platform as a way to do so. But um, yeah, I, I, I've got one more film dissection in the works. And I think that that might be the end point of my work with the film dissection series. It's one that's been running since October, 2015. It's now April, 2019. When you look at it, it's I'm it's insane how long it's lasted. It's insane how many movies I've talked about. But um, yeah, anyway, let's kind of get to the gist of it. I think one of the biggest reasons is that I have hit a creative block. Um, I've talked about a lot of movies, and I, I've talked about similar subject matter within a lot of movies. I really have, and um, I've kind of I don't I don't want to say I've run out of things to say because I think every film has something unique to say. But, and obviously the whole point of the film dissection is to get to the bottom of what exactly um, that film is saying, but um, it, it can be a little bit strenuous on my end. Not, not strenuous, but it's not as enjoyable talking about similar things. Even if it's unique in its own way, it, it is similar to other things that I've talked about. And I kind of hit this creative wall. Um, yeah, I just kind of hit a creative wall and... Um, don't have the same enjoyment of making the videos that I used to. It's as simple as that. Um, when I was doing that 54-week stretch of a new video every week, I loved it. I really did. I, I found it challenging. I found it interesting. And um, I, I loved every. I loved the research side of it. I loved the writing side of it. I loved the video editing side of it. And then it's like slowly those three areas have just kind of... I, I, I've enjoyed them less and less like pretty much every video I've worked on over the past year, pretty much. It's been a year um, in which, so um, context for the timeline, I guess. Um, the 54 week stretch started when I was in high school, just doing one every week. I was able to get, do the time, come home from school, manage it well, doing all that stuff. And then um, lasted through um, second semester of my freshman year of college. And that way, it actually ended with the Paul Thomas Anderson video. And it was basically a break, pretty much, because I had talked. It was a 22 minute video. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. It's one of my, it's probably my favorite video I've ever made. Um, it was 
so much work. I started working on it in December 2016 and released it in March 2017. Um, it would definitely, the, it's the thing that I'm most proud of when it comes to YouTube. And then um, from there, I just stopped doing it every week and would do it um, like every other week. Sometimes I'd go back to every week, but it wasn't a, as consistent as it was before, which is fine. That's just the way things go. I was spending more time on that. The videos went up. Like Anyway, um, long story short, that's when I stopped doing it every week. Um, although I did go back to every week. I, I, anyway, um, that, and then more or less did another year, probably did 30-ish videos over the next 52 weeks. So a good amount for sure. But um, then in... May 2018, I ended up uh, going studying abroad over the summer, which uh, meant I pre-made a bunch of videos. So I wasn't actually making videos, although I was releasing them. And basically what I found when I was out of country is that it can be fun to not spend 30 hours a week making videos, writing, researching, and editing. And um, yeah, that, so... Yeah, I, I enjoyed my time not doing this all the time. And I still enjoyed making the videos. I came back and made some videos that I loved quite a bit. But um, next year rolled around and I, um, among other things, took up more student involvement, um, leadership positions within my school, doing all this other stuff. And it just had to reprioritize how I spend my time. Um, I, I'm very good at time management. Uh, it's a big strength of mine. It's how I was able to do it for 54 weeks and I'm still able to utilize. I, I'm glad that I was able to do that for 54 weeks because I really taught myself a lot of skills with time management that I apply to my life today. But um, basically, long story short, what happened was um, more student involvement, just doing more outside of sitting in a dark room making videos. Um, and happy that I did. It. I, it's one of those things where I, I like I said, I like making these videos, but at the same time, doing more than just making these videos, it, it was challenging, it was rewarding. And um, that's kind of why you've seen the thing, the creative block and the lack of time is why my videos have slowed down over the past year. And then um, like, you, you, I, I noticed trends, like I was been following like expected dates to hit 100,000 subscribers for a while. And I was really hoping that that 100,000 subscribers would come along and kind of like give me the kick in the butt, the motivation that I need to, um, to kind of get back on the horse and really like reprioritize making these videos. And it the, the, the opposite happened, really. Um, it, it really seemed like an appropriate end of the chapter to um, my time spent on YouTube. In many, or at least with the film dissection. And like I said, I'm still working on um, a pretty ambitious film dissection, which I'm still going to be releasing. But um, I don't, and it's kind of fitting because that video, you, you'll see when it comes out. But um, yeah, it's one of those things where that video and um, hitting 100,000, it seems like an appropriate time to officially put an end to the film dissection, or at least the idea that I've, because I've kind of been denying myself that I am burned out on it. I, I've always just kind of said, all right, we'll just do more and g give yourself a new pattern every other week. And then, all right, well, I need a little bit more time because I want to make sure it's done right. And the, the result is that I'm putting out videos that I'm not 100% happy with. Um, oftentimes, the um, YouTube demographics haven't been as great because I'm not doing that consistent thing, which makes total sense. And um, yeah, so I, so um, anyway, it's one of those things where it's just kind of like less views because I'm putting out fewer videos and that's kind of been, that's a big motivation factor as I'm sure you can imagine. I love making videos that get, get views. That isn't why I do it, but it's a nice thing. It's a nice, the work that you put into this video, 100,000 people have seen it, that's awesome. It really is. Um, and when you look at my most viewed videos, with the exception of the Unforgiven one that I did last, they, they just haven't been getting the same views um, as recently, which is fine. I understand. I'm not like, upset about it, but um, it de definitely isn't as motivating to see, yeah, that video you made two and a half years ago, that's doing well, but the one you made last week, that's not. So that, that's kind of been unfortunate. And then the biggest reason why, um, why I've pretty much decided to to an extent, pull the plug, but um, like I said, I'm unsure of exactly what I'll be doing post in, over the next couple months. Is that um, this summer I got a 
great internship with a great company and need to make that pretty much my biggest priority. Um, it would be possible to do that full-time work while working on these videos. I've done it before, but um, I need to perform at the highest level at that internship and um, it would not be possible to, I mean, making these videos while doing that would mean staying up late. It would mean getting less sleep and excuse me. And quite frankly, I just can't have that happening. So um, that was another huge factor in it. And um, yeah, uh, um, it's one of those things where I definitely don't regret doing YouTube. I've loved so much about it. I've met some amazing people. Um, the video essay community is really one of the best. Like, it's just such smart people, such good hearted people, such hardworking people, such talented people. I've got nothing but great things to say about everyone who I've interacted with. Um, everyone who I've interacted with over the um, past couple of years, I've met some great people who I think I can say I've made legitimate friendships with. Um, yeah, it's one of those things where um, it's, it's sad because I, I, I love Jack's movie reviews so much. I'm so glad that I've made it a part of my life. And I'll, it's one, but it, it really is, this is a tough video to make, like I said. Um, I've kind of been thinking it for a while, and I think that um, closing the book on this chapter, or closing the chapter of my life book, whatever you know what I'm trying to say, I think that it's going to be a good thing for me. And I know it's sad, and I just wanted to um, basically wrap this video up. I know it was a little bit disjointed, but hopefully you can see that this is just me being as honest as possible. I've been giving what I want to say a lot of thought, but not like, there's no script to this. It's just me trying to be as honest as possible, talking about um, my, my time on here, how much it's meant to me. And I guess to finish the video, I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to anyone who's ever watched my work. Um, thank you to all of your all of your positive comments. Whenever, um, like anyone from like my real life, even though the videos that I make are definitely a part of my real life, whenever like they read the comments, it's, I'm so, like, I've read a lot of YouTube comments and yours are always the best. So anyone who's ever left a like, left a positive comment, um, had a joke with me on social media, any interaction that you've had with me, um, it means a whole lot. It means everything. So, um, yeah, just wanted to say thank you. Um, like I said, I, I know it's weird because I'm like acting like this is the end, even though I'm working on a video to release hopefully soon. Um, it's a, a big concept of a video. You'll see why when it comes out, but a lot of research, a lot of writing. And I want, I want to end with hopefully my best video that I've ever made. Um, but... I've just been giving it a lot of thought recently and I feel like now is the appropriate time to make this video um, just because I want you to be aware of it. I want, yeah. Um, anyway, hopefully you, um, yeah, hopefully you won't be mad at me for this. It's been so much fun. It's been such a, pleasure chit-chatting with everyone. I, I, I really, really appreciate everything that you guys have done for me through supporting my videos, through doing all that stuff. It means a whole lot. And I just want you to know that, um, in a perfect world, I'd be able to continue to make these videos. Um, but between time being a thing and, um, that creative wall that I've mentioned a few times, I think that it's best to just end by saying thank you. It really means a whole lot, and um, yeah, so thank you.